Yo, what's up guys, Pav here. How's everyone doing? Guys, today I want to show you how to use FL Studio piano keys and how to make it sound better inside FL Studio. This is going to be a really quick FL Studio tip here and a guide. So everyone else watching, we are going to be inside FL Studio. We're using FL Studio 20 plus and we've got the FL keys. Now on the FL drop down here at the top, We've got, once you load up FL Keys, we've got something called Grand Piano. So we're going to select Grand Piano. Okay. And we've got a few effects that we've added that we're going to run through. But first of all, this is what we've got. So this is what it would sound like with the normal piano. So we click on the drop down, select Grand Piano. This makes it sound better. Now, only thing that you guys want to do on here to improve the sound is take the triple and move it down a notch, just a little bit like that. Because this is too harsh. And also, what you want to do is take the release, move it down a notch. And where it says hardness, Take it down a notch as well. Now we've got a nice kind of little piano loop going on here, really simple, really basic, just for the demonstration of this. And first thing that we're going to do to improve this is we're going to select the select tool at the top and we're going to select the main. Um, the main melody kind of uh, pattern, the legatos, so the chords, just like that. And once we select them, you can hold shift to select them. So hold shift on your keyboard, keep selecting until you select what you need to select. Now we're only selecting here, we are only selecting the piano patterns. Then we click on the top and on, on this little tool, the settings, and we're going to click on strum. And this is going to give us strum settings here on the screen. And on these strum settings, we can either turn it left ways or right ways. We're going to go right and we're going to turn it until the first, well, the last top key uh, reaches the first kind of uh, sound. So let me show you. like that. Now we don't want to push it too hard, just a little bit. We could go half, just like that. Now if you think that's too harsh, you can take it down a bit. Just like this. If you want to make it more visible to the ear, turn it up a bit. And once you have it, click accept. Now you can actually go down and change the velocity of all your pianos. So you could take the first one down just by selecting the tool and just draw in here, just like that. Just making it a bit more natural and a bit softer on how you want the piano to sound. So as you can see, I'm kind of doing this build up of where you start off low and, and go gets higher and just minimizing those mid keys in between. Just like that. And now let's play it. And if you moved any of them too low, just turn them up a bit. Very simply. And once you have that, 
you set the effects channel to whatever you want to set it to. Then you're going to double click in there and you're going to open up something called Panagement 2. There's a link in more description where you guys can get this. It's free to download and free to use. And it's a really cool reverb plugin for pianos if you get the settings right. So what you're going to do is you're going to have the room size like this. So you're going to turn the room size halfway like that. Then uh, the wetness will be like that. You turn it about 25%. So room and that. DK make it in the middle and this is what you're going to get when you play it. Also set the volume to normal. Then we add Fruity Reverb 2 which is a normal plugin. You can just select these in the select box uh, and the volume here is 25% so not 50 but 25 and the reverb Basically, all you're gonna do is you're gonna, all you're gonna do is you're basically gonna click in here, just like this, and drag down like that. Okay, and you're gonna take the wetness and turn it all the way up. And this is gonna give us this really cool kind of piano reverb, instantaneous kind of reverb. <coughs> <coughs> gonna talk, sorry, instantaneous kind of reverb sound. And then we're going to add Fruity Multiband Compressor on the side here and we're going to select a preset, okay, so Fruity Multiband Compressor, as you guys can see, we're going to select a preset, warmer, we're going to make the piano warmer and this is going to turn the piano to sound like this, so let's have a quick listen. And then if you guys want to make it softer, you take down the gain on the low band. If you want to make the mids more richer, turn up the mids. And to be honest, it sounds perfect with the low gain here, the mids uh, just about here, and the highs just a little bit up. Then the knee comes up halfway like that, just like that, and like that, and all of them. And ratio 211 on the first. And the threshold on the mid, just take it down halfway. Just like that. And now we have a piano that sounds like this. And yeah. Sounds really cool, right? So yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, the most simplest way of improving your pianos inside of a studio. And you can pretty much use this for any melody, any piano that you want. You've got the FL keys, which is free to use inside of a studio. And this is a quick, simple tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If I've taught you something here today, which is really simple, make sure you um, subscribe hit the like and hit that bell icon um, and yeah that is pretty much it that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys here today on how to improve the piano inside FL Studio I have got tutorials coming out um, on FL Studio um, every Thursday as you can see on the screen 6 p.m. UK time uh, we upload on this channel pretty much every day so make sure you tune in this is a really quick tip on how to improve, well, how to use the FL Studio keys and how to improve it inside of FL Studio and make it sound professional. So this is pretty much the best way of doing it. And that's it. Peace out, subscribe and ciao.